Mr. Jun is here again for another fun of learning in Mathematics 6. After watching this video, we should be able to describe the set of integers and identify real life situations that make use of it and compare integers with other numbers such as whole numbers and fractions and decimals. Before we proceed to our topic, let's answer first the following. Give the antonym of the following words. Number one, beautiful. The antonym is ugly. Next, good. The antonym is bad. Hi. The antonym is low. Big. And the antonym is small. If words and actions have opposites, numbers also have opposites. There are positive numbers and negative numbers. These numbers are called integers. Integers are a set of numbers that consist of zero, positive numbers, and negative numbers. Integers can be presented on a number line. The number line extends in both directions infinitely. This is indicated by arrows. Positive integers are the numbers at the right of zero on the number line. The sign for a positive integer is If an integer has no sign, it means it is a positive integer. Negative integers are the numbers at the left of zero on the number line. The sign for a negative integer is A negative integer is less than zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Real life situation can be represented by integers. For example, if a temperature reading is 34 degrees above zero, we say it is positive 34 because of the word above. 8 meter below sea level. The word is below. We say it is negative 8. Let's try to write the integer represented by each situation. Number 1. 9 steps backward. The answer is negative 9. Number 2, a gain of 12 meters. Correct, the answer is positive 12. Number 3, 15 degree above 0. The answer is positive 15. Number 4, 3 km below sea level. The answer is negative 3. Number 5, climbing a mountain 920 meter high. The answer is positive 925. Very good kids! Now! Let's compare integers by using the number line. As we move to the right on the number line, the numbers get larger in value. If the integer we are comparing is bigger in value, we will use the symbol greater than. On the other hand, as we move to the left on the number line, the values get smaller. If the integer we are comparing is smaller in value, we will use the symbol less than. Let's try to compare the following integers 
using the number line. Example, let's compare negative 3 and 0. Based on the number line, negative 3 is on the left side of 0. Therefore, negative 3 is less than 0. So our answer is less than. Another example, let's compare positive 5 and positive 10. Positive 5 is on the left side of 10. Therefore, positive 5 is less than positive 10. Our answer is less than. Next, let's compare negative 4 and positive 1. Based on the number line, negative 4 is on the left side of positive 1. Therefore, negative 4 is less than positive 1. Our answer is less than. Next, negative 1 and positive 10. Negative 1 is on the left side of positive 10. Therefore, negative 1 is less than positive 10. Our answer is less than. Next, let's compare negative 4 and negative 6. Negative 6 is on the left side of negative 4. Therefore, negative 4 is greater than negative 6. Our answer is greater than. Excellent kids! You are now ready to take our next activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct relation symbol. Less than, greater than, or equal. That will make the statement true. Number 1. Let's compare 58 and 72. Correct. Our answer is less than. Number 2. 0 and negative 9. Correct. Our answer is greater than. Next, number 3. Negative 12 and 0. You are correct. Our answer is less than. Next, number 4. Negative 1 and positive 1. Very good! Our answer is less than. Number 5, positive 19 and negative 25. Yes, you are correct. Our answer is greater than. Next, number 6. Positive 5 and positive 5.
You are correct. The answer is equal. Number 7. Negative 8 and positive 5. The answer is less than. Number 8, negative 9 and negative 9. Yes, you are correct. Our answer is equal. Number 9, negative 15 and positive 10. You are correct. Our answer is less than. And number 10, negative 16 and positive 16. Very good! Our answer is less than. That's it! Always remember kids that in comparing integers, determine the position of the numbers on the number line. Every number is greater than the preceding number and greater than the next number. That's all for today. I hope that I make your math more easy and fun. See you in my next video.